Well, hey guys, welcome into another edition of Talk About Watches Live. My name is Tim, and tonight it's my pleasure to welcome Barry Cohen, and he represents at least a couple of brands you guys are going to know. One of them is Santo, which of course has been absolutely blowing up on Talk About Watches. And if you haven't checked that brand out, that's the one where the Z is silent. You need to go do it because those are, uh, for dollars spent, they're absolutely an amazing watch. And ask any of the myriad of people that already own them and have been posting on our Facebook page, of course, about TalkAboutWatches.com. But tonight, we're going to do the higher end, and that is CT Scuderia. This is an Italian brand featuring Swiss movements. And here's the thing. The entire inventory at TalkAboutWatches.com in regards to CT Scuderia will be half off. Now, we're going to do five or six pieces here on the show tonight, but there are many more that are available on the website. So just because it's not on the show does not mean that it isn't half off. Every single CT Scuderia is half off through Talk About Watches in existing inventory right now. And because we are factory direct, it is full warranty. It is already here in the United States, so no worries about that. And shipping is included, so it's the perfect time to check out this amazing Italian brand. Now, before we get into that, a couple of other things. First of all, we encourage you to join the email list. I know a lot of you have just recently done that, and so for those of you who are new, welcome. Glad you were tuned into the show. And if you haven't, Please go sign up. First of all, it is free. Secondly, when you sign up on our email list, we'll never spam you. We don't like spam either, so we do not do it. And we neither rent nor sell the email list, so you are always safe with us. Plus, if you're on that list, you'll have the option to join our closed Facebook group. Now, there's an advantage to that, because that group gets all the deals first. For example, the reason that when you start checking out the CT Scuderias tonight, and you're going to see greatly reduced quantity and perhaps some sellouts, that's because that group had access a few hours before the show. And you can have that advantage, too. So go sign up, be on the email list, and, and any of our email, you'll have the invitation where you can get into the room. And uh, from there, problem solved. Now, let's talk about a couple of other things. One of them, and I'm really happy about this, is that we are now on Facebook Live like we've been, but add YouTube Live to the list. Now, ironically, I'm broadcasting this on Facebook Live, and even if you don't know it, we're also now on YouTube Live. But if you can help get the word out, we'd appreciate that. Because for some of you who would prefer watching the show outside of Facebook, or if you know people that aren't members of Facebook, this is the way to access it. Plus, if memory serves with YouTube, you can actually now bring this up on smart television. So for those of you who would rather watch the show on the big screen, the uh, link that we have, or more accurately, our, 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 our chapter, if you will, over on YouTube Live, our channel, is the way to go for that. So we are now live on YouTube and, of course, live on Facebook. And as you can see, assuming you're watching this in real time, we have moved our show to Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. East, 6 p.m. West, and that was due to a vote by you guys, the viewers. So thanks for your input on that. Also, a quick word on following us on social media. I just mentioned YouTube. And I just mentioned Facebook, right? Well, there's more because you can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on Google Plus and, of course, on Instagram. This is all free, so please join us because we will access all of these on a very regular basis with daily deals and so on. And we're also, incidentally, if you're fans of Instagram, in the not-too-distant future, we'll be broadcasting live via Instagram as well as YouTube and as well as Facebook. So thank you to all of you that are helping us here at TalkAboutWatches.com. Continue to expand pretty much for the week. The only other thing I'll mention here before we get into the show is financing, and that is specifically through a program that we call PayPal Credit. And here's how it works. On the last page, just before you check out at TalkAboutWatches.com, you'll have an option. Would you like to use PayPal Credit? And once you qualify, you'll have six months interest-free with no payments and nothing down. Frankly, this is a lot more flexible than you'll find in the original, uh, what we think of as six pay and so on. Because there you have to have something down and then there's rigid payments out for you know, however, however many months and you know whatever. Okay, now if you want to do that with PayPal credit, that's fine. But you don't have to put money down unless you just want to. You can do that once you qualify. And because it's flexible, as long as you pay this out within the time, within those six months, there is no interest charged whatsoever. So you can divide it up in equal payments or double down on a month or skip a month if you want or whatever. So check it out. It's again on the final page of our checkout process at TalkAboutWatches.com. And I think you're going to find that it takes some of the higher end stuff and truly makes it 
extra easy to own. So well worth your time. All right, without further ado, we're going to move the show forward and let's welcome Barry Cohen and CT Scuderia to the show. Is Barry Cohen on the show. Barry, welcome to Talk About Live, man. Thanks for doing this. Well, thanks a lot for having me. Appreciate being here with you. Well, you're known, I think, in the U.S. market primarily for two brands. Uh, one of them is uh, Santo, which has been absolutely blowing up on our website, as you know. And then the other, which we're going to talk about in this segment, is uh, CT Scuderia. Did I get that right? You did get that correct. Awesome. Where does that name come from, by the way? All right, so if I may, and I don't know if this is valid or not, but when you say I'm known for, actually I'm probably even more known for Luminox because it's the brand I founded uh, 28, 29 years ago. But I moved on and I carry these brands today. I don't know if that's of interest to your viewers or not, but I mentioned it as a background. Uh, CT Scuderia. This uh, is a brand owned by a gentleman named Enrico Margaritelli. Uh, absolutely phenomenal in watch design, as you'll see when we go through some of these. Uh, Scuderia means a stable. Uh, a lot of people, when they hear Scuderia, they think Ferrari, and indeed Enzo Ferrari's team was called Scuderia Ferrari. But in this case, it relates to the CT, which is the prefix. prefix. And CT stands for contatempo, or counting time, or better known as a watch. So this is this brand is literally a stable of watches, a watch stable. Contatempo Scuderia. Well, as we uh, uh, jump jump into this, one of the things I want to uh, talk about here immediately is uh, when you talk about watch design, and um, Barry, I'm sure you get this, I know I do, uh, the question, why do watches cost what they cost? And there's no simple answer to that, but tonight we're going to talk about luxury wristwatches. And one of the things that you're going to notice is the case design and the case finish. These are magnificent pieces, and I think with the discount that we're doing for you guys in this show, this is arguably the best deal that we've been involved with in a while. So let's talk about that, actually, just for a second. And Barry, feel free to chime in here. The entire CT Scuderia inventory that we have at TalkAboutWatches.com, whether or not it is on the show. Now, tonight we're going to do five or six pieces, but beyond that, on the show and on our website, anything will be half off list, which is, to say the least, very generous. So, Barry, thank you for helping us put that together. Sure. We're excited. We want to see if we can reach a wider audience through your show. Appreciate it, Tim. Well, we uh, we appreciate the effort and also the watches. And on that note, I'm going to jump into the first one. Uh, the one that we're going to talk about is the one that I'm wearing. It is also the only dual time zone piece. And by the way, a lot of you are fans of carbon fiber. Me too. So I'll tell you that if you are fans of carbon fiber, there are two pieces tonight you're going to want to see. This is one, and for the record, the other will be the last one that we'll do in the sequence tonight. Uh, plus, Barry, you've got uh, not only the dual time, and this will be the only dual time uh, tonight, but I have to say I love the whole stealth idea, the tone-on-tone -tone black. Yeah, it's a great-looking piece in the blackout uh, way that it's done. A really matte, matte case finish, uh, a beautiful uh, tire tread style silicone strap that's soft and supple, yet strong, uh, thick enough to be rugged. Uh, it's got a dual de deployment clasp. And the controls for the two time zones at 12 and at 6. This might be a good moment to discuss the case construction, if okay with you, Tim. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so uh, one of the things is that really uh, sets this brand apart, the hallmark of the brand is that it's all based on a bullhead construction where the controls for the watch are located at the 12 o'clock side in most of our watches, about 90% of them. This one being the two time zone has controls at both the 12 and 6 o'clock side. But what I want to point out is that it has the same case construction throughout the entire line, which is a patented case construction that enables the bullhead design to be the most comfortable bullhead ever created. So what uh, Enrico has done is essentially taken a stopwatch type case body with controls at 12 and then fabricated two pieces, one at the 6 o'clock side, one at the 12 o'clock side that attach to the case with significant turndown of the horns. So it's an extremely ergonomic wrap the wrist fit as you can see by this picture that you're looking at right now. It's really what makes it the most comfortable bullhead ever created. 
And uh, I can uh, certainly speak to that, having had a chance to uh, to wear some of these. This is a, a piece that, and it doesn't matter which one you pick, this whole line just melds right around the wrist. Uh, I should also mention, too, that this particular model is on silicone straps. So I want to talk about a couple of things. One, this is a beautiful high-end uh, silicone. It's modeled after a, a racing tire, actually, so it's modeled after a, a, a tire tread. Uh, but the other thing is... With this piece, there's going to be two ways you size it. Now, if you want to get really extreme, and by the way, I'd recommend this probably for, I would think, a, no more than a 9-inch wrist, so just keep that in mind. Uh, one is, if you are going to bring it uh, tighter, uh, you can either have a jeweler cut it to fit, or you can, but remember the adage, measure twice, cut once. But uh, you've also pointed out, Barry, that this is set up with the, uh, with the sizing pin so that it may not be necessary to cut this at all. Well, certainly, at least for the initial sizing, I would not be cutting it just to play it on the safe side. It's like that measure twice, uh, cut once rule from the world of carpentry. Uh, but we have in both sides three additional setting holes. So you can literally adjust it up to six different, three on each side, up to six different uh, settings, actually more than that. But it gives you the chance to adjust it with a spring pin before you consider cutting the strap. Well, one of the things I want to talk about here uh, very, very early on, and I think this is cool, uh, again, coming back to we are featuring in this segment the, the Luxury Wristwatch, every watch crystal you're going to see will be not only sapphire, but also AR-coded. And, and Barry, for somebody who doesn't know the term uh, AR or AR-coded, what does that mean to us? Anti-reflective. So it, it allows you to look at the dial uh, with considerably less glare and sometimes it looks like there's not even a crystal and that you're looking right at the dial. So we're going to move on here to the to the next piece shortly, but uh, I'm going to comment again on the carbon fiber. Uh, given that this is a performance-based line, as you'll clearly see as we move forward, I think carbon fiber fits in beautifully since, of course, it's used in now uh, performance gear, high-end sports gear, high-end sports cars, high-end motorcycles, and so on. And that's what they've used in the crafting of this particular dial. So you've got beautiful carbon fiber. In fact, the whole watch is basically done in black, except for the very stark white numbers. And it just contrast, well, it couldn't be more of a contrast because you've got the dark car charcoal, of course, of the carbon fiber, and then the, that stark white of the, uh, of the numbers. Uh, Barry, as we move on, I, I've got to comment very quickly, this high-end matte finish on this particular case. I, I find that rather striking. Yeah, it's a beautiful look. It's, it's PVD, but uh, it really, he's done a great job with the matte finish. Yeah, that, for those of you who don't know, that mat, especially creating the, uh, the steel to handle that mat, is actually a rather expensive process. And those of you who have collected watches for a while probably know that, but there's always somebody new. So there you go, a little tip. All right, we're for the time being going to put a last call on this. And if you are just joining the program, keep in mind that everything that you are going to see on the program tonight is 50% off. Now, it is restricted to existing quantity, so do keep that in mind. It, when something sells out, we're not doing rain check, so it's just gone. But in the meantime, you can go to the website, talkaboutwatches.com, and check out the entire CT Scuderia inventory, because it's not just the pieces on the show. It's the entire CT inventory on talkaboutwatches.com that is half off while quantity lasts. All right, let's get to the next piece. And we're going to carry over, actually, with this in the sense of this is, again, that matte finish, uh, which is absolutely stunning, by the way. All the cases, I believe, Barry, are 44, I believe? Well, most of the line is a 44 uh, millimeter case diameter. That's correct. We have a couple of pieces in the line at 42 and 40, but easily 90% is 44. I should mention that that same 90% will have a 26 millimeter lug width and that the straps, in particular the leather straps, uh, it's, a, it's an excellent interchangeable strap program. It's a very strong strap program in this brand with Italian leather straps throughout, except for the silicone that you just showed. All of the straps have a fingernail pull, so it's very easy to take one strap off, put another strap on, and it enables you to have one watch head with multiple looks. Now, the, uh, the system that uh, Barry's uh, referring to, a lot of you guys know the term quick change pin, and uh, you've seen that around now for a better part of 15 years or so. Uh, and that's what's built into this. So you can go with another CT strap, or if you want to bring in other 26 millimeters and they have quick change pins, you're going to be able to drop them in on these pieces in a matter of moments, which is pretty cool. So moving beyond the strap, and by the way, as I started to say, moving beyond the strap, I got to tell you, this high-end Italian leather is amazing. Plus, 
Uh, Barry, you had the, the leather uh, back so that it withstands uh, uh, moisture. Yeah. This is designed for long term. Okay, so yeah, the, what you're referring to is a Lorica backing, and most of our leather straps have this Lorica backing. Uh, it resists, uh, you know, sometimes leather after a period of time will soak up perspiration and it can pick up an odor. This will resist that uh, far better than standard leather. And again, you know, I want to just touch for a second on uh, on the leather once more and about the importance of it in this brand. You know, this is an Italian brand of Swiss-made watches. Italian design, Italian influence, uh, and the brand itself is actually tied to the world of the Cafe Racer motorcycle. It is the only brand globally registered tied to the Cafe Racer style of motorcycle, which is probably the hottest trend in motorcycling today. But jumping back to the leather, much of the, many of these straps really look like fine leather goods that you would find from Italy, whether it be shoes or bags. Like the one that I'm showing now with the kind of gold tone and the one you have there, Tim, in that beige tone, yes. those are multi-tonal. Uh, it's a treated strap to give the look of what you see in really fine Italian shoes. And it uh, absolutely uh, delivers on that. And by the way, uh, since this is the high-end Italian leather, you are going to see this further uh, patina over time. And as we move through the show, I think we even have some additional examples we can show of that. The point is that the look ends up being unique to you, the end uh, collector and the wearer. So kind of a cool thing. Uh, jumping into the watch, Barry, this is the first chronograph we're taking a look at tonight. Yeah, this is called the Coda Corda series. It has a very, very interesting dial uh, with different levels on the chapter rings. And in fact, some of the uh, subdials actually are working below a ring. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to show this in the camera there. Well, have some cutaway shots too that will illustrate okay. uh, that very. But it's a fascinating dial and uh, and just a beautiful piece. I'm I'm crazy about this series actually. This is a beautiful look, and it's very 3D. For those of you like myself that love three-dimensional builds in uh, the, the, the dial construction, uh, you're going to love this. And it's a very thick halo. It's in the center. And one of the things I think is really cool is you're so used to seeing chronographs that are more or less spread out across the dial. This one actually concentrates the chronograph inside the, the, the halo. They've actually shortened, especially the, uh, the tracking hand, to, to do this. And I think it's a great aesthetic look. Yeah, thanks, Tim. I appreciate it. I think it's, I think it's great also. You know, we didn't uh, mention, uh, by the way, that all of the watches in the brand either have Swiss quartz multi-jewel movements, as does this, and then we also have automatic movements in the brand, and if those are on your website, those also are available at 50% off, as you mentioned. And we didn't touch on the price, by the way, Tim. The yes. first model, that was the two-time zone, standard suggested retail is twelve ninety-five, but of course, your viewers get a special at 50% less. And this series that we're looking at at the moment, suggested retail is thirteen ninety-five. Oh, excuse me. Suggested retail is also twelve ninety five. Please excuse me. And they get that discount there as well. And please keep in mind, guys, that the discount that uh, we are both uh, referring to, that is existing quantity only. But again, not just the watches here on the show. The entire inventory that is available at TalkAboutWatches.com is half off for the existing uh, the quantity. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on, but as I do, I'm, I'll mention that the uh, the controls for this chronograph are at the top. So just think of where it, where it usually is at the traditional roughly 3 o'clock position. You rotate that around to the 12, therefore the stop and start is basically at the 11, and your reset will be at the 1. And this is the look on. I would recommend this one uh, probably not more than a 9 in the, in the wrist, uh, eight and a half to nine. I wear an eight and I would definitely have some uh, left over there. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the next piece. And what we're gonna get to now is one that has a very rich blue. And for those of you who love the real flat finish dial, uh, categorically, this would be the one I'd put you into. And this is a very dark, it's, in my opinion, it's darker than navy. This is a midnight blue. And even though it's a flat dial, uh, Barry, somehow you guys ended up being able to create sort of a, a, a radiance thing going on in the blue color. Well, it's, a, it's an enamel blue and a midnight blue, you're correct. It's an absolutely gorgeous style. I love yes. this watch. And uh, the white subdials really pop off of the dark, deep blue. And they even have a slight uh, border that's raised once again to give additional dimension and texture to the dial. Well, again, the Lorica back strap, but take note of the leather. The leather, once again, looks like beautifully, finely crafted leather shoes. 
I'm going to come back and talk about some uh, basics here very quickly if you are just joining us or to reiterate either way. Every watch crystal in the CT Scuderia line is glare or anti-reflective treated sapphire. Uh, all the leather is, of course, uh, Italian and high-end, and all the movements are Swiss, whether they be automatic or quartz. Now, in the show tonight, we're doing quartz, but any automatics, and I can't guarantee they're still there, but if they're available, they're also 50% off. And again, you can check that out right now at TalkAboutWatches.com. There should be a link either just off to the side or below, depending if you're watching us on Facebook Live or on YouTube Live. Okay, so back to this. You mentioned the the enamel in the dial, which uh, I agree is, is absolutely spectacular. Uh, this one, though, is a bit of a departure from the matte finish we saw in the first two. It does have some very cool uh, matting. This is all done, by the way, in the natural color of the steel. So in the lug areas, for example, you've got individual components that are done in the matte. But you've got in the, in the bowl section this really nice uh, mirror finish going on. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's just, so you're looking at two different tones. Uh, the once again it is a stopwatch type case body as you can see right here with the controls at the top even the loop like you'd see on a stopwatch and the case body sitting within the two additional elements that are attached at six and twelve to give it an ergonomic fit and then if you look at the uh the side the profile you'll see the highly polished case side but the matte finish on the pieces at twelve and six I've also got to, and as we get ready to, to move on from this piece, uh, again, 44 millimeter cases across the board, by the way. Um, I'm going to compliment you guys on the back of the watches. Now, of course, I'll try to make sure that we get some pictures of this up so you guys can see it. But i got to tell you, I've seen a lot of pictures. And then the CT line actually arrived for videography and photography at uh, Black Rabbit Nashville. And i got to tell you, uh, the case back is remarkable. This is a watch you're actually going to be taking off just to show off the back. There's mirror polishing, there's bas relief sculpture, there is enamel work going on. So Barry, thanks for bringing back the art of the watch back because I think the industry has gone so far the other direction it's very refreshing to see a brand coming back and taking that real estate uh, seriously. So uh, thank you for that. We appreciate yep. it. You'll notice that there's three enamel colors on the case back of red, green, and white and those represent the Italian flag. Barry, as we uh, move on, could you give us the uh, the price listing on the the piece with the uh, blue dial, please? Sure. That one is uh, $13.95 suggested retail. And again, half off if you're ordering through TalkAboutWatches.com, and that includes the entire inventory of the CT series on our website, not just what we're going to feature here on the show. So let's move to the next one. Now, on one hand, if you look at the, at the case, you're back to that whole stealth idea. The entire case is done in black, but this time the case is all mirror polished, meaning the bowl of the case is mirror polished. You've still got the matte finishing going on in the separate areas that create the lug. There's a really cool metal finish in the two control pushes for your chrono. Uh, the stop and start is in blue. The reset is done in the red. Again, 44 millimeter case and Italian leather throughout that is treated for uh, water resistance. So uh, very cool uh, there as well. Very. Uh, let's open with the actual price on this one, and then we'll jump into some of the tech. Sure. This one is priced at $14.95. Suggested retail once again. Anyone that's viewing your show gets the benefit of the TAW discount at 50% off. So, Barry, jumping into this, i got to say, one of the things that leaps out immediately are those really big, dramatic Arabic numbers. Yeah, this was actually one of the best-selling series, uh, particularly in the early stages of the brand. The brand's about three and a half, four years old now. And this series uh, was always among the best-sellers. What do you think brought people to this particular? Have you guys gotten feedback on that, or just one of those? Because all your pieces are beautiful. I just find it interesting when one steps out front. Well, you happen to hit on it. We heard from a lot of people that they really like the oversized uh, 5 to 55 numbers or 5 to 60 numbers. So that, that seems to be it. So one of the things, Barry, that I really appreciate in this particular, not just in this exact piece, but if you are actually looking at the, uh, the line as a whole, it, it certainly draws from the performance aspect. You can look at the dial, for example, and I, I for one, see a replication from performance dials on, on motorcycles or cars. But the use of the uh, of the color, like you were getting into the, the case back a little while ago, in this instance with the red and the blue, the point is it seems to be drawn from the Italian strengths, which is the performance mechanics and the performance when it comes to uh, fashion and color, that sort of thing. Well, that's true. And also, if you t going back to your comment about the numbers, Tim, if you think about the... Uh uh, the chronographs that were dash mounted for rallying 
in, in sports car rallying. They had this exact same type of a look on the stopwatches that were used uh, on the dash-mounted rally chronograph. So it is that look, but now put into a wristwatch. Again, and I, I stated this earlier, and I'm happy to say it as we uh, move forward here, that when you get this home in a few days, collectors are going to absolutely be enthralled with what you've got at half off. This is luxury being made affordable. We talk about what consists of a luxury wristwatch, what ingredients go in, why do they cost what they cost. You have to look at design elements, you have to look at brand value, you have to look at ingredients, like what do they make it from, of course. But then you get into the elements that are abstract, like the talent of the design and design for longevity. Uh, which, by the way, speaking of which, uh, the uh, Scuderia is backed by a rock-solid warranty here in the U.S., so there's, there's no words from that aspect. But when you look at how these cases are put together, multi-piece cases with different finishes, these are, frankly, uh, they're, they're art that you wear. And you're going to see why I'm so enthused about them when you get this home in a few days. And again, if you are just joining us, everything that you are seeing on the show... And everything in the CT Scooter Realign on TalkAboutWatches.com is 50% off for the existing quantities. So as we move to the uh, final piece for this segment, we're going to see two different color finishes. Uh, one of them is in the rose, which you'll see here. And then the other is going to be in a white, which I'll grab here in a moment. Now, immediately one of the standout features in my view is going to be the carbon fiber that's utilized in wrapping the 316L steel case. Now this is important because carbon fiber, while it is relatively malleable, isn't necessarily the easiest thing to, to curve, especially if you're doing very exacting work, which this is. So what you have here, and again, it comes back to high-end concept, high-end builds, it costs more to do this, is Yes, it curves around the watch like this, but this is that bowl style, or I can't come up with a better way to describe it, sort of this fondue pot kind of a shape. It looks majorly cool on the wrist, by the way. So you're curving around the case, but then you've also got the curve sweeping up this way. And you've got the carbon fiber, therefore, that's reacting in, uh, in both directions. And uh, Barry, as we get into the, let's start with the, uh, the, the price on this, and then we'll jump into some of the features if we can. Uh, well, that, that's the higher of the two. Yes, that absolutely. One yeah, that's a, the highest one you're showing presently. That's a 15.95 suggested retail. Again, half off to your customers, uh, and that's with the rose gold plating on the horns. The other one, by the way, that's an excellent example. If I may ask you, could you hold up the gold tone one sure. in profile? Because it's it's much easier on this piece to see how the horns drop down. Uh, when you look at the profile and ergonomically wrap the wrist. And that's part of this patented case construction that I was referencing earlier. Uh, it's easier to see it because of the contrast with the gold and black, I imagine. Yeah, this is a really rich, warm uh, rose gold, by the way, that's been layered uh, across the, the, uh, the steel. So this is $14.95 on that one. Now, this oh, no, piece, that was that one was $15.95. I'm sorry, I, I misspoke. The, the uh, rose, again, is $15.95. And again, half off across the board, while quantity lasts. Uh, right. This one is $14.95, and this is the natural color of the steel. Uh, both of these, by the way, sections are matted, particularly the lug area. And then the covering, I guess, for lack of a better word, that's over the carbon fiber, that results in a very brilliant mirror polish that sweeps around the uh, the rest of the case. Now, in addition to the, the carbon fiber in the case, and, and Barry, I do want you to comment on that, but you guys also carry carbon fiber to the dial as well. Correct. Uh, that particular piece that you're holding right there has a carbon fiber dial, a carbon fiber wrapped case, and a faux carbon look strap, so it's uh, fully integrated throughout with a carbon look. And remember, I reiterate again that these uh, all have a 26 millimeter lug width, so it's very simple to uh, simply change straps and get two different looks. Sure. And, and by the way, guys, anyone out there with a 26 millimeter, and I know a lot of you guys do have the quick change pin system uh, in 26 millimeter straps, uh, they will drop onto this wristwatch, and conversely, these straps will work into your collection as well. So little added advantage uh, there. So Barry, since we're clearly getting into a bit more of the, uh, of the high-end uh, work here, what has the world market been uh, the, the reaction been as C2 Scuderia continues to bring out the, the higher-end uh, bills? Well, everybody who sees this line has a wow moment. They see it and they absolutely love it because it's stunning design. It's, separate, it's so different from anything else that's out there. We're finding that 
uh, a large number of the patrons or consumers for this brand are people that already have many high-end watches, uh, but they see this and they fall in love with the design and say, I got to have this. It's, it's kind of a melding of fine and fashion, if you will, and I would call it high fashion because of the design. The design is spectacular. I mean, part of what I think the brilliance is with the CT Scooter Realign is when people think of a, of a fashion wristwatch, and I'm certainly in this camp, if you use that connotation, it certainly is implying something that uh, it, it's more or less the flavor of the month, and it's not so much a watch guy watch, and it may or may not be built to last. What's really cool about the CT line is you can see the Italian influence from very high-end leather, the use of color, the innovative design, but these are built to last literally a, a lifetime. This is the watch guy watch that just happens to also have some of the, those fashion uh, elements, and of course, on top of that, that, uh, you can further complicate it with the, the ongoing homage to the performance uh, vehicles, the cars, the motorcycles, and so on. Correct. You got it. This is, I, in, a, in a nutshell, guys, this is absolutely beautiful work. And again, as we're getting ready to, uh, to wrap this up here, and I'll show you the, uh, the white one uh, very quickly again. Uh, by the way, Barry referenced this strap. Uh, if you want the look of the carbon fiber across, and it is leather, but it's got the, uh, looks like a nylon across the top that looks like carbon fiber, and it is treated, of course, for the water resistance around the back. All of their straps are. Uh, th that is only on the white and the black case, okay, the one for $14.95. The one at $15.95 with the layering of the rose gold, this actually has the high-end leather strap that's modeled after the driving glove. So you can see, of course, the, uh, the ventilation um, uh, on that. Uh, these are uh, masterful uh, pieces, and as we've been talking about through the course of our segment, this is so definitive as to why luxury watches command the prices they do. When you start to look at the innovation, you start to look at the how these are assembled, uh, each one done uh, by hand, and each finish, whether it's a mat, whether it's a brush, or whether this is polished, it, it's literally flawless. Every single model has anti-reflective coated sapphire crystal. Every single model, whether it is an automatic or whether it is a quartz, will have a Swiss engine by definition in it. And if you're choosing through talk about watches, while quantity lasts, whether it's an automatic or whether it's a quartz, half off. So great reason to get over and check out the CT exhibition at talkaboutwatches.com. Barry, any uh, final thoughts for us before we uh, wrap this up? Well, no, Tim, I thank you very much for the opportunity to present this uh, brand uh, to your followers and your viewers. I think they're going to be very pleasantly uh, surprised when they get this, at, if, should they buy one and they get it home, I think they'll be thrilled with their purchase. Uh, you've seen it personally. You know what I'm talking about. These I are do. stunning watches. And it's like I, I mentioned a little while ago, and I'll, I'll mention this as we wrap things up. I mean, the, the case construction on this is jaw-dropping. It really is. And you guys are going to see this when you get this home in just the next few days. And the, the work on the case back is nothing short of extraordinary. Enamel work, multiple finishes, bas-relief sculpture. This is watches that you will be taking off to more than just show off from the wrist. You're going to take this off and physically show it off. So uh, Barry Cohen, again, thank you for being such a uh, gracious guest. And thank you for the offer from CT Scuderia. Thank you, everybody in the audience, for tuning in. And we'll see you back really soon for another edition of Talk About Watches Live. Thank you, Tim.